Hi guys, I'm going to remake this pop pop boiler because what I think I need to do is bend the edges the opposite way. I've bent them over the top so I've reduced the flexibility of the um, what do we call this bit? The drum skin? <laughs> The bit that actually makes the noise because all this glue around it stopping it flexing so I think if I bend the edges the opposite direction so they curve underneath then that should leave the top available to flex so I've got another can here that I'll cut exactly the same way so we've got the the dome that's the main boiler and use what's left for the top but this time I'll bend it the opposite way. Now, I forgot to say, because this one leaks, what I will do is I'll get the pipes out of it so I can reuse the pipes and dispose of the boiler. Because it's sprung a leak round the edge here somewhere. I can't remember where exactly. With a bit of leverage, I managed to crack the glue round there and it's come off quite easily. That might even be a convenient way of holding it in place when I put the fresh glue on.
Well, it's popping. There is actually a leak in it, I can see. So I have to fix that before we go and try it out in the bath. difference between that one and the previous version is the previous one had the resin or the two-part epoxy over the top and it was preventing the diaphragm from flexing properly. This time I curved the, the metal, the aluminium round the other way so the glue's on the bottom. So that left this free to flex which it does quite effectively. Just in case I forgot to mention it, I added a rudder. That's just another piece of the aluminium can uh, in the shape that you can see, held in place with a bit of double-sided tape on the back of the boat. And that's the boat that's made out of a, um, what's it? Air freshener. I suppose you call it, a gel filled air freshener that I took the gel out and just used the plastic case because it happened to look like a boot. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.